What is up, my proper compadres? This is Proper Jeremy, and today we are once again talking about Raylo, because apparently this thing just will not end. And of those of you who don't know, Raylo is essentially a ship of Ray and Kylo Ren and this whole fantasy of them getting together and being romantic and sometimes a little bit, you know, weirder. And shipping is just basically a pairing of just two people who, you know, get together and it's just a, a fantasy that some fans just make up. And the whole Raylo thing is exactly that. And some people take it too far. Some people just because, you know, it, it, it agitates people, other people. Uh, sometimes they'll just post memes and just do it on purpose, just, just to get under your skin. And, you know, it works. One thing that I will say on this issue is that, just to, to echo what I said four months ago, and yes, I did make a video very similar to this four months ago about my whole thing about this and my opinion, and this video will prove to you that not much has changed on that opinion. There was this whole big hoopla about having a shipping panel that was at the celebration and I'm just sitting here just like why does this matter there's a bunch of different panels bunch of different tents a bunch of different merch tables to go to and it's a variety of things there and so what's the big freaking hoopla about about shipping it's a fantasy. People just pair two characters together and they're like, oh yeah, they should be a couple. That's pretty much what it is. And I understand that there was, there was this issue a while ago with uh, you know all these Raylo supposedly you know doxing Adam Driver and his wife, trying to get him and, and Daisy Ridley together in real life. That's not cool. I'm pretty sure that most normal people who would consider themselves Ray Lowe's would probably agree like no doxing is not cool much like a lot of people in the fandom menace agree that even if you don't like Ryan Johnson like you vehemently dislike him doxing him is not okay doing that to anybody not cool so to have that stigma attached to that kind of group is just kind of like the same thing as people calling uh, us in the fandom menace racist sexist bigots homophobes white supremacists all these names that are are just ridiculous and it's not like shipping is just something that happened with Star Wars I mean there are other franchises that exist that have sh shipping involved in these subcategory of, of fandoms it just boggles my mind that this is such a big deal who cares it's fan fiction for a reason it's non canonical I don't like this whole idea of this fandom being split up. And, uh, you know, I, I get it. You know, a lot of people are trolling, a lot of people just are messing around and all that. But, you know, this is one of those things that I'm just never gonna understand, you know, all this fake outrage over it. And if you're gen genuinely outraged about people writing weird fantasies, it's just, uh, I, I don't know what to tell you, man. You know, you, you need to sort out your priorities. And just to clarify, shipping happens in most, if not all, franchises that have, you know, these large followings. You're always going to get these sort of people who are just vehemently passionate about the, about certain parts of fandom. You know, if it inspires people to write creative stories, it's just like, fine. Like, do what you want. You, you have every right to have your own opinion. And you have every right to do what you want with it just like people making fan films it's like the same exact not the same exact thing but it's just supposed to you know just give you like maybe i don't know a creative outlet that's what it's supposed to be for and to be all upset over that just doesn't make any sense to me the whole reason that this thing blew up again is because of this tweet that came out by this person who i guess is a raylo fan who's saying that she wanted to watch the last jedi because of all the haters which is stupid like why would you watch if you love a movie why don't you just watch the movie because you love it why do you have to you know watch it because other people hate it and then ryan johnson replied to it and somebody else who i follow was like you know you're promoting incest right and I don't want to speak for him but it came across as just him having his own theory of you know maybe Kylo Ren and Rey are brother and sister or, you know cousins or they're related somehow so that would be incest then Ryan Johnson comes out and says kiss me bro 
I mean, I'm not gonna argue, that's kind of creepy. But then Jeremy from Geeks and Gamers, who's a good friend of mine, I'm a moderator on his channel, and I have disagreements with him sometimes. I don't know, like, how serious he is about this, but when he was reading these tweets, he was saying, like, you know what, you know, Ryan Johnson going out here and supporting Raylo? And I get his point that no other directors are doing this. You don't see Chris Nolan, Steven Spielberg, anybody doing this. I, I'm with you on that. But the issue I have with that is that you complained about the Raylos and you didn't think anything about the implication of incest. You didn't even mention it at all, I don't think. It's kind of like, yeah, Ryan Johnson, we're, we're totally fine with you promoting incest, but Raylo fans? Making it very hard to defend you, G-Day Cobra. But then again, you know, he's from Alabama. And just to reiterate, I did post a video about this about four months ago, a little before celebration. I said it before, I said it again. Now this is not worth the outrage. These minute issues are not something that, it's just not something that we should be focusing on. Out of all the things to be outraged by, why this? I, I don't get it. I mean, I understand if people go after you and, you know, they're just attacking you on Twitter, whatever that might be, I get it. But at the same time, it's just like, th this isn't worth, you know, our time, you know, focusing on this. This makes us look silly. Criticizing fan fiction, who, it doesn't, it doesn't matter in the grand scheme of things. Like, seriously, it, it, I, I don't, I'm never gonna understand this. So if people watch this video and they're saying like, oh, proper Jeremy, you've changed. You know, this is, you know, you don't understand it. I get it. I'm willing to have a conversation with you if we have a different opinion or, you know, we don't agree on it and that's fine. We can disagree. That's cool. It's not cool if you're an asshole about it, but you know, it's gonna be what it is and I'm sure I'm gonna get flack for this, but you know what, it, just to, prove my consistency. Here is a couple clips of what I said about four months ago. In the fandom menace in general, a lot of people are not happy with the whole Raylo thing. They think it's a joke or whatever. And you're allowed to have your opinions. That's totally fine. I mean, you might like it, you might dislike it, but in all honesty, the whole Raylo thing is not really something that I'd consider to be all that outrageous. It's not that big of a deal. So what if somebody wants to have a fan fiction of Kylo and Rey, or Poe and Rey, Poe and Finn, Finn and Rey, who cares? And that's just, that's just the thing. It, that's, that's why it sort of bothers me, because some people are just getting outraged over these minute things that really are not all that worthy of the outrage. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm just a little out of touch here. Maybe I'm missing the point of this. I think it's rather foolish to just be generalizing and categorizing all these Raylo fans. This is the exact same kind of talk that we've been hearing for the longest time. And so it bothers me when people that are supposedly on our side are doing the exact same thing. That being said, we're bound to disagree on things. This just happens to be one of them. I don't know. I just don't think it's that big of a deal. And I don't know why people are making a big hissy fit about it, but whatever. They say that it doesn't belong in Star Wars, but you know what? Anything goes in fan fiction, so whether it's good or bad, you know, who cares? You know what? I just, I just looked at the date on this, and I just realized that was the same day that happened when this was a thing for 90 long days. So, what do I know? So those are my thoughts on this, and I would love to have a conversation with you guys. Let me know what you think about this whole situation in the comment section down below. And if you like this video, go ahead, hit that like button. And if you are new here, go ahead, hit that subscribe button. If you want to donate to the channel, I'm going to be setting up a Patreon soon, so look out for that. But in the meantime, go ahead and donate to the PayPal that I have in the description down below. I would greatly appreciate that. It would help me keep doing these kind of videos and doing what I love because I really do love this. And with that said, thank you all so much. Have a great day. Live long and proper.